Ladies and gentlemen, it is 11 p.m. at night, but the grind doesn't stop because some big news just dropped for the New Orleans Saints. It was reported by Nick Underhill that Justin Simmons, the four-time second-team All-Pro safety and two-time Pro Bowler Super Bowl champion, the best free agent available, will be visiting with the Saints tomorrow in Irvine, California. And for the Saints, this makes a lot of sense and this could be really huge. Besides Tyron Matthew, the safety spot is very thin and a little bit concerning for the team, especially after the releasing of Marcus May because while he was pretty trash, he was okay, he was serviceable. Now the safety group is just kind of a lot of unknowns. And yesterday the Saints announced their first unofficial but official depth chart and they had Jordan Howden as a starter. Now he's had a slow start to training camp in OTAs we had because he had shoulder surgery or finger surgery in the offseason, but he was listed as a starter despite Jonathan Abram getting most of the starting reps throughout the summer. Now Will Harris, JT Gray, Roderick Teamer, Miller Bradford, and Lawrence Johnson are the other safeties listed on the depth chart. And while Will Harris, Roderick Teamer have had pretty solid camps, I wouldn't feel comfortable going into a game tomorrow with these two starting or as the base guys behind Jordan Howen or if Jonathan Abram was the guy next to Tyron Matthew. Millard Bradford looked like he was having a really great summer and spring back in OTAs and minicamp, but has not really done anything in the training camp or summer portion of the programs. Now, safety really a huge concern? I think it's in the middle. I think Jordan Howden will be serviceable too. He can be a really good safety. I think if he develops right, I think he can be just as good, if not better than Marcus May. But he's also in year two. He was also, I think, a six round pick and maybe he isn't fully ready to take on a full starting role next to Tyron Matthew. In a defensive system and scheme by a guy like Dennis Allen, that could be really complicated. And in my opinion, when you look at this defense on paper, the weakness of this defense is that number two safety spot. Now the defensive line obviously has their question marks, but Carl Granderson and Chase Young will likely be the two starting edge rushers. The defensive tackles and interior, I'm a little shaky about, but I think they will be pretty solid. Linebackers, I'm not worried about at all. Corners, not a worry in the world. Tyron Matthew has one safety spot. The other safety spot is where my concerns come in for this defense on paper. So bringing in Justin Simmons, the best free agent available, could fill in a huge void for the Saints right here. And for those of you who don't know, Justin Simmons is a free agent because he was cut by the Denver Broncos due to cap reasons. Not because he was having a poor season or was playing bad. It was because of cap reasons. Because of the Russell Wilson release, they had to create some money. And Justin Simmons was the guy they had to get rid of. But on top of the safety position opposite of Tyron Matthew being a question mark, it makes a lot of sense for the Saints to bring in Justin Simmons. Their defensive coordinator, Joe Woods, was in Denver with Justin Simmons between 2015 to 2016 as their secondary coach and defensive coordinator during that legendary no-fly zone defense, the defense that led Peyton Manning to the Super Bowl, one of the best defenses really of all time. So that's one familiar face, but also when Joe Woods was the defensive coordinator in Denver, he also hired Marcus Robertson to be his defensive back and secondary coach. And guess who the defensive back coach is in New Orleans? Marcus Robertson. So there's familiar faces here between the Saints coaching staff already and Justin Simmons. So that's one thing that makes a lot of sense for the Saints to bring in Justin Simmons, but also it would benefit the defense overall because I think if you sign Justin Simmons, it makes the secondary a top three, maybe the best in the NFL and makes this defense on paper go from a top 10-ish to probably a top five defense. Justin Simmons does have some versatility, like Tyron Matthew can play deep in the box, kind of play a little bit of everywhere, but I kind of view him as a Marcus Williams type of safety, a guy who can play back mostly, be a ball hawk, play deep, while Tyron Matthew can do all the dirty work down in the box, in the slot, kind of just roam around in the middle of the field. And if you remember, Dennis Allen wanted to get rid of Marcus Williams and Malcolm Jenkins back in 2022 when he took over as the Saints head coach so he could have more versatile safeties in Marcus May and Tyron Matthew so he could disguise his looks better. I think he can still disguise some looks with Simmons. It won't be as versatile, but I do think Dennis Allen would find a way to make it work. Plus two, I think Justin Simmons definitely has more range to be a deep safety like Marcus Williams than Tyron Matthew does. 
So if the Saints were to sign Justin Simmons, you got Marshawn Lattimore, Kool-Aid McKinstry, Paulson Nadebo, Alante Taylor, Tyron Matthew, and then Justin Simmons, of course. With a really good defensive-minded head coach, one of the best defensive play callers in the NFL. Then you have a really good secondary coach and defensive staff. This could be one of the best secondaries the Saints have ever had. Now, if you would have asked me if the Saints were going to sign Justin Simmons literally a day ago, I would have said no. And here's why. The Saints offseason plan, Mickey Loomis said himself, and also through their actions, basically hinted that they're planning for the future. They're going to start saving up the money, cleaning up the cap, getting younger. And when you look at the free agents they signed, signing Justin Simmons wouldn't have made sense. All of the guys they signed were under 30 years old. Justin Simmons is 30. A lot of the guys they signed really weren't big signings didn't ask for a lot of money they didn't spend a lot of money there were one-year deals and for justin simmons i would have thought that he would want a kind of a bigger contract go to a competitor ask for a lot of money and i just didn't think what justin simmons wanted would match with what the saints were willing to give but apparently i was wrong chase young was their one big signing of free agency and of the whole offseason and it really wasn't that big of a signing 13 million but a lot of it is incentive based that's if he plays that's if he gets sacks that's if the team makes the playoffs so for the saints to bring in justin simmons a guy who's 30 years old after an off season of trying to get younger and clean up the cap i find it a little bit shocking but also like a few months ago the saints were under the cap about by 10 million and they restructured Taysom hill's contract to create more cap space no one knew why no one knew who they were going to sign no one really knew what to expect or what to make of this move and maybe at the time they're just thinking what if we can bring in justin simmons at one point create some extra cap space and now we have more money to spend on a valuable player who can have a very important role to this team but even then though i don't think the saints would have to make that kind of cap space for a safety especially given that the safety market completely crashed this offseason with a with the releasing of multiple safeties, trades of multiple safeties, guys not getting paid because the safety position is the running back of the defense. It's easily replaceable and you can draft it in basically the later rounds and you can be okay. And it is a shock that Justin Simmons is available this late into the basically the season. It's preseason. There's games on on Thursday. This is going up Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. But I would have thought Justin Simmons would have been signed a few weeks ago or at any point during this offseason but now that he's made it this far justin simmons could be cheaper he could view the saints as the right opportunity the safety market is crashed the saints might feel like they need some help at safety after two weeks of training camp maybe they don't feel like the second safety position is where they want it to be at maybe this is the right opportunity for both simmons and the saints and as of recently you have jamal adams Eddie Jackson, Quandre Diggs, Marcus May, and Adrian Amos all have been signed recently. So the safety market is starting to heat up once again. So now is about the right time where we'll see Justin Simmons probably sign with the team that's interested in him. And he'll probably get the highest paid money of all of these guys and all these available safeties. About a month ago, Justin Simmons was on an interview and he was kind of asked about why he's still a free agent and kind of what's going on with his situation. And he implied that he wasn't going to rush the process. Here's what he had to say. We're just playing the long game here. I think ultimately we're going to end up where we're wanted and where we are valued. He continued by saying, I've always said from the jump that I want to play for a contender. And I feel like I can be the missing piece for a lot of teams to get them over the hump. Now it makes sense that he wants to play for a contender. He's been on the Broncos for eight years basically his whole career and they haven't been to the playoffs basically since they had peyton manning almost 10 years ago and by justin simmons saying he could help a team get over the hump the saints are kind of in a weird spot they didn't really get worse but in my opinion i think they probably just stayed the same i don't think they really got significantly better either but if justin simmons come in be a huge piece of this defense and help the saints get over the hump maybe they become a playoff team and they are in a weak division this could be a signing that changes a few win totals but it's also important to keep in mind that the saints are not the only team interested in justin simmons the colts the texans the titans have all shown interest in him have all had visits with him and multiple other teams that haven't been reported are also interested in justin simmons so it's not just the saints 
So if the team wants Justin Simmons to be on the team, they have to make a nice offer. Now, I don't think the Saints would offer anything more than a one-year deal, but I could maybe see them doing something similar to a Chase Young type of contract. Maybe a little bit less, like a one-year $10 million deal with like $7 million in signing bonus and the other three is earned through incentives or something like that. But I don't think the Saints would give him any type of crazy contract, like a three-year $30 million deal. It's way too late in the year and the season for really anyone to get those type of contracts as a current free agent. Everyone available is going to be getting one-year deals probably worth up to $10 million, depending on who they are and how desperate teams need them. But now the New Orleans Saints are in the mix for the best free agent player available in Justin Simmons just days before their first preseason game and they could use the extra help at the second safety position. Now if the Saints do end up signing Justin Simmons on either Wednesday or Thursday, I'm likely not going to be able to do a video on it so just come back to this video and rewatch it and uh, that's kind of all the information you'll need to know. Subscribe to my channel Cash Sports for more daily NFL content. Have a good one. Peace.